here at the Children's Garden this week, we are talking about red, white, and blooms and the colors red, white, and blue in nature. So we have some items here that are part of our discovery station and we're going to teach you all about why certain animals and plants are the colors that they are. So for the color red, we are featuring the Northern Cardinal and we see a lot of this bird here at the conservatory and we have some really cool bio pieces of this bird like its skull and you can see on the skull replica, it actually also has a red beak. And the cardinal is really cool because it eats red berries and on the male that turns its feathers even redder. For the color white, we are featuring the white-tailed deer. And this animal, as many of you know, is not fully white, but it's known for its white tail, which flashes up when it sees a predator as a warning to that predator that it knows that it's there. And we have some really cool bio um, pieces from this as well. This is a real deer antler that the kids can come and touch. And we also have a replica skull um, to show the kids just how big this animal actually is. So for the color blue, we are featuring some animals that you'll find inside of the conservatory. One of them being our blue and gold macaws. And this is actually one of their feathers from Mick and Max, our resident macaws. These are really interesting feathers because one side is blue and the other side is yellow. And when these birds fly in the rainforest, these two colors blend together to make the color green, which is very cool. It blends into the leaves. So these are just a few of our bio pieces and flowers and other natural objects that we are talking about with red, white, and blue this week in the children's garden. And we will be open on the 4th of July, so come see us and learn all about these great colors in nature.